Hey, it's Cam again, and today I'm going to show you something Chris fixy, right? So, I'm going to put this power inverter up there. So, to do this, you're going to need a drill, some drill bits, a screwdriver, a sharpie to mark out these holes, uh, a couple of screws, these aren't self tap or self tap would make this a lot easier, but I don't have any. And, of course, a power inverter. This one's allegedly 5,000 watts. I don't believe it for a fucking second, but it seems to run my battery charger. It was good enough for me. Uh, impact is welcome if you've got a compact one enough. Mine doesn't fit, and the rest of the tools are just in the van. Uh, so yeah, so I'll show you what we're going to do. So first of all what we're going to do is try and figure out where you want your power inverter to be. I've decided I want it to be about there, just under the seat, the rear seat belt here. So there, uh, I've actually got a very convenient power point here. There's 120 watts, not 5000 allegedly, but it runs my power, it runs my battery charger, which is all I really needed to do. And if I bought that fuse, I can always run new lines. Uh, this one's just got a fag lighter. It does have um, crocodile clips as well if you want to go that route. So once you've got that out, I'm going to get a sharpie and I'm going to mark up these holes here. Uh, you can sort of see those there, I'll have to take these back off. So you can see where your holes go. Okay, I've got those holes down, so what I'm going to do next is find out how big your screws are. These are minuscule, I think these are about 6mm, and you'll get the appropriate sized drill bit. And drill a wee hole in each one of those. I do them about a mil small than the one I'm going to do, they're just pilot holes, they don't need to be the full size so they grip a bit better and they cut their own threads. So. Right back with that. And there we have it, four holes. It only takes about a second each. I use a metal bit. And if you've got plastic bits, you use them. I'm not sure they're using a thing. But yeah, up next is you're going to mount the so You're going to get your inverter. Chuck it there. And you'll see, if you can find them, that the holes line up pretty good all the way around. So, what I'm going to do now is stuck the screws in. And then that's it mounted. And there we have it. It's installed. It's not the... It's a wee bit rattly, but these are actually slightly stripped. I did in fact drill them 3mm, and they were 3mm. I would recommend going smaller if you can. That is the smallest drill bit I had. Uh, so you could probably use either slightly bigger screws or a slightly smaller drill bit and you get a better fit. But this works. Uh, I'll probably stick some double-sided tapers on. But you can see that the, the panel's flexed more than the actual thing is, so we're doing okay. Uh, it's plugged in, but it's on the ignition. So what I'll do is flip that on. Right there. And I'll go turn the ignition on. And you can see it's now on, it's running, it's on battery voltage, it's putting out 215-ish volts. Which on this, just plug it in. You can see, I'm not sure if you can see, see? It's now fully charged, charging off that, and it's just coming out of there. Now, I'm sure I'll blow a fuse if I try and run in powerful off of this, but for charging batteries, maybe running a laptop, that sort of thing, as long as you're not too, as long as you're not too difficult with it, it should be fine. Uh, this one I got off eBay, it was like 45 quid. If you want to get if you want serious power, get like an actual caravan one, it'll be like 150 quid, it'll be rated less than this one is because a good quality and they don't line the packet and wire it directly to your battery. I might show that if I burn the fuse in this or something. But that's for now I'm quite happy with this. And you can hear that wee fan buzzing away, so it should be relatively relatively reliable. Famous last words, eh? Oh and I was putting the back seats back up, I noticed I've accidentally done a wee bit of bonus here. There's now a 240 volt socket in the back seat if you want to charge a phone or set a laptop. I mean, there's no space in the back seat, but if you want to sit back here, there's no 240 volt here. Very nice.